a Bison Silverado, uh, what I would call 8316S, meaning 8 foot wide, 3 horse, 16 foot short wall with a slide out here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Why go Bison versus Brand X? That's why I like to put together on these videos, because there's a lot of trailers out there. There's more trailer options out there now than ever before. So why spend your hard-earned money on this one versus another one? This is uh, made by the largest producing manufacturer of living quarters out there. Bison builds and sells more living quarter gooseneck uh, horse trailers than anybody else, period. Um, you know, why is that? All aluminum structure is a big part of that. That's uh, one of the calling cards of the Silverado here. It is aluminum skin, aluminum frame. Uh, but there's, there's, you get, man, there's a lot of good use and function and value here and with an amazing look. That's the thing, it's not just a good price tag because it's a cutthroat brand, it's a good price tag because they're locally made. Um, you know, they get all the same parts that all the Western-based uh, U.S. manufacturers get, but all those parts are from like the Middlebury Elkhart, Indiana area. That's only an hour away from my dealership. That's right where these are built, basically. So they don't have to pay stupid shipping charges just to have them shipped all the way out west to be built to send back here to the Midwest. It's all built and sourced locally. I also like that for warranty purposes, they're right around the corner, though we really haven't needed a lot of bison warranty help. Now, nicer things here like the slide awning toppers, being an RV dealer is something we're very familiar with and we really like to see because it protects your slide out. The roof of your slide, your seals, it helps actively shield them from sun and wind and rain and uh, other things that we spot from the RV industry are the fact that all of the windows do open for ventilation, especially the ones on the sides of the slide. Uh, I grew up on the back of a horse and uh, I remember that when we go to the little local speed events and whatnot, there was no plugging in. You know, it was hot inside that trailer, so anytime you can get some uh, some breeze rolling through, that was very nice. Now, I do love that the even the uh, escape door here does have a full drop-down window, and I like that they're a lot easier to use. Um, it's not like the old ones where you had to be like me and be really tall to reach up here. This is just pull down, easy operation. You see how simple that is. Here, let me open the whole thing for you. I mean, even with just one hand, you see how easily that operates. Um, this is eight foot wide. It does have mangers, so underneath the mangers, they have an opportunity for this gigantic tack space. And I also like that they did leave that open all the way back through the tack closet. You can really pack a lot of stuff in here, as you can see. I like this really bright finish here on the, uh, on the uh, sidewalls, that extruded aluminum. It just really looks sharp. It is a little bit windy, so if the wind is fluttering on that microphone, my apologies. It's just one of those things that can't be avoided sometimes. Um, now there's a big power awning on this. The power awning is a higher grade one that moves in and out more quickly. Again, from the RV business, something we've seen is there's, you know, like a 300, 600, 900 series of awning motor. It's nice to have the nicer appliances on here. When, it, when it's nicer, it works faster, it moves faster, it doesn't work as hard, it doesn't overstress. Because the last thing you want when you're uh, out on a, you know, a dusty event is to sit there and, and lose your power awning and not have uh, the ability to roll it back in. You just don't have to worry about that with these. Now your rear tag closet here, like everything else, all aluminum, fully removable saddle tree. The, uh, the closet walls themselves can fold back, so if you want to uh, op uh, you know, open this whole thing up and have something big to load, you can do that. With the wind, I kind of need to close each door as I go here, so pardon me. But hey, you get to see how easy it is to operate with just one hand, and I'm not left-handed. I'm not even that bright, my wife will tell you. <laughs> Now, uh, all extruded flooring, this is heavy duty like cattle flooring, you can see the thickness of this rubber here compared to my thumb, it's about what, three quarters of an inch thick, it's pretty serious stuff. I do like that they have a full kick, uh, a fully covered kick wall here, so the, this stuff is specially designed so that your, your horse's shoes don't really grab onto it if they are shod. Um, I also like that they trim the top of this here, so if your horse, uh, like my horse was a leaner, it was always leaning against something. Well, it would lean on stuff like this if it wasn't finished on, on the rough edge of this paneling and get a sore spot, and I don't have to worry about that here. Um, now again, you see that there are mangers. I, I like that this front wall's kicked too for, you know, ones that like to snort and kick at stuff. But, uh, you know, you have big mangers here, nice all aluminum, polished off, easy to clean. Notice that even the uh, horse area here is fully finished. Now it's nice because that will offer a little better insulative quality if it's cold and you're heading to an event. But what you're not seeing is there's an entire framework, cross-skeleton framework here of uh, just pure structure and support. God forbid, God forbid this ever happens. If you are going down the road and this trailer has an accident and lands upside down, there's a very good chance it will hold its shape. 
um, there's a very good chance that beyond just a couple simple bruises, your animals will be fine because it has so much structure in the walls and the ceiling. We like to put stud walls on these. We like to pad our dividers whenever we can. It's, it's better for everybody, especially if you're only using this like a two horse. It gives you a wall to separate, and instead of a stud wall, we call it the stuff wall, a place to put all your stuff. I do like these are all one hand uh, operating latches. They are a little bit noisier, but horses, in my experience, have never been that spooked by them. Um, you'll see lots of tie downs for all your animals. It's a very well planned. I mean, there's a reason this is the number one seller. It's not just because they have a nice living quarter, which they do. It's because they have one of the nicer horse areas as well. Now this has, uh, real quick, before I get in the bathroom here, I'm going to go turn on some electricity and operate some lights for you. Now this is one thing I do love too. It has just this easy, easy battery disconnect. That's all there is to it. Uh, your entry lights and everything are right down here. Easy to reach. They're all LED lights. You don't have to worry about incandescent bulbs going out at you and then trying to find a place that can replace them. It's tough replacing all those bulbs. So back here where I was, full bathroom, and it has a very nice bathroom with lots of floor space. That's one of the advantages of going to the 16 foot short wall. We have good counter space here, huge medicine cabinet. And again, with the extra tall 7'6 ceiling in here, you'll never hit your head. Now this fan up here is awesome. It's all push button operated. Right over here on the wall, there's a, a Max Air fan cover. You simply hit the up button, it raises the lid for you, turns the fan on on its own. Man, these things give a lot of airflow. I'm already feeling it. Then you simply push the down button, it'll close the lid for you, and when the lid gets closed, it'll shut the fan off automatically. You don't have to be tall, you don't have to reach up there. So if you're a little bit shorter, you don't gotta worry about it. Because as a lot of the cowboys know, a lot of the cowgirls aren't that tall. Um, now, because this is extra tall, you have tons of headroom in the shower. And this is a fifth wheel shower, not a travel trailer tub. And here's another one of those details that separate it. It's seamless. It's a one-piece shower enclosure. Uh, most uh, manufacturers are still using two-piece shower enclosures. The problem there is uh, if there's a seam, and it's always right next to the shower pan, if there's a seam, then it's easy to cause a leak and damage, and you can't see it until it's way too late. Now this box here holds all the hubcaps and whatnot. We keep those stored away so the trailer looks good until you take it home. But look at how deep this linen cabinet is behind this toilet. It's huge. Uh, you just don't generally get that much linen space back here. Um, the uh, toilet here, porcelain, not plastic, nicer stuff. That's what you're going to find all the way through here. And I love this privacy door for the bathroom. Now this has a living room in it that uh, a lot of the fifth wheels we sell every day, uh, you know, they're, they're really going to be rivaled by this. This is very nice. We have put a very significant um, maple wood upgrade here in this interior. And buddy, I got to tell you, it looks sharp. The detail work they put into this stuff is fantastic. All of these hardwood doors here, I mean, this stuff is absolutely made to last. It's, I mean, you can bang on it all day like that. This thing's going to bounce around down a dusty trail. It's going to perform. And I love the little accents, just the little... Uh, you know, visual elements that they incorporate in here. The inside connects with the outside. It's not like a shell that was uh, then had an interior built. Bison builds their own living quarters. They don't outsource stuff. I love that. I love that it's all one place. It's all one warranty. One person, uh, you know, you can contact for needs and use uh, after the sale. Uh, we even have central air in this living quarter so that the bathroom stays cool too. Now they have a very, very pretty looking uh, bed space up here, but again, a lot of it goes to that maple upgrade that we put into here. Now notice too, the little stands on each side of the bed have power outlets, so, you know, cowboys, cowgirls out there with CPAP machines and whatnot, you're all set in this thing. It can take care of you. You kind of have, uh, your television here is on a, a big swing arm, so at night, if you want to swing it around to, to face the bedroom, you can do that too. It can face anywhere you want. It's, a, it's on a perfect design. Um, now you have a kind of a central control center here. You have your awning and slide out buttons. You have lights, uh, you know, heating and cooling. These are the lights for your power awning. And actually, let's look at that real quick while we're standing right here. I knew that door was going to whip open like that. But, you know, just a single push of a button. Awning is going to zip right out for us. I'm not going to run it out too awful far. But, you know, you, you see how easy it is. And then again, you do have the full LED lights under the uh, awning here. Very, very nice, handy stuff. What I like about the power awnings is that if it's uh, nighttime and the uh, um, weatherman gets it wrong, if it's raining and you're not expecting it, you don't even have to go outside. You can climb down out of your bunk. You don't even have to totally climb down. You can reach over and close the awning, go back to bed. You don't even really have to fully get out of bed. 
Now your kitchen storage space in this model is extreme. It is very, very nice. Now not only do they give you big cabinets, but you see that they sectionalized it here with a shelf to double the storage you get out of it. You have overhead cabinets above the microwave and the refrigerator. You have tons of uh, full extension ball bearing drawer glides here. More space below the refrigerator. I mean, there's storage everywhere. And then you even have this bonus linen pantry wardrobe closet. Whatever you want, this thing can do it. And it'd be nothing to put a little fixture in there to add some extra shelf space if that's what you wanted. Full um, RV refrigerator, stove top, sink, and uh, the sink even has you know uh, nicer amenities to it like the pull-out sprayer here. Um, you know, six cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator fridge, like you get in a big fifth wheel. Again, that's the kind of interiors they're building down there. And uh, you know, you're never going to be hurting for space. This is a beautiful living quarter. It's made for serious everyday use. And it gives you that amazing look of like those $90,000 pieces without the $90,000 price tag. And that never offends anybody. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy trails.